There we go, we've got another one on. And you might hear that the clutch is just slipping. And that's just set for when I give it a little bit too much. And the time to set that is when you're practicing. Get it right so that in the match conditions, you don't have to mess around with it. And I just do it so that when I know that I'm pulling a bit too hard, the clutch will just slip. Just as a little bit of extra security and it's absolutely perfect. It brings me on nicely to the fishing's good, we've had seven or eight on the lead. It's taken a little while, they're not jumping on the rod. <coughs> but the last two or three, like I've explained, have been hooked in the bottom lip. And the sun's at the highest now, and what I'm gonna do in a minute is keep the feed in the same and see if I can catch one or two on a waggler. I've seen one top, so there is a chance. We're not fishing for a massive weight today. And I just think while that wind's dropped a bit, keep that feed going in and we should, or well, there's a good chance of getting one or two on a waggler. But the best thing about fishing with eight mils, the way we're doing, is that if the waggler doesn't produce, we can always go back on the straight lead line. Which again, is why it's very, very important to be really mindful of the fact and the way that you're feeding. And what you don't want to do when you change from the bomb to the waggler and back again is to alter the feeding pattern in any way. You want to try and keep it the same. It's very easy for me now when I go on the waggler to really up the bait, up the regularity and that could well be good for the waggler if the fish have a go but it could completely destroy the bomb line and as, as I've seen on a lot of matches it's really important to try and feed it in a way that you get the best out of both. So I'm going to give the waggler a bit of a go now. <laughs> 